Tell me, Jim, why are the chimps here in Dorset where you least expect to find them? Sure. I, I think really there was no else, nowhere else for them to go. One of the things that people have to realize is that they can't go home. They can no sooner go back to Africa, particularly with other chimps, because other chimps would kill these, because it would be an invasion of territory. And secondly, a chimpanzee that's been used the way these have, if you send them back to Africa, they'd have really about as much chance of survival if you sent a young child, or someone who knows, doesn't know anything about Africa at all. They have no memory of it. They don't know what to eat. They, it's impossible for them. And introducing them to a new area, in fact, where there are no chimps, presents all its own difficulties for the people that live there. So they had to go somewhere. And the best bet for the Spanish beach chimps was to give them at least what we have here, which is what a hectare, two and a half acres, the beginnings of a natural life. And they needed somewhere where we, where we could get them started and start teaching them to be chimps again, which is what we wanted. When they arrive here, they're in a terrible state because they're drugged, aren't they? That's and right. Beaten. That's right. They're drugged and beaten on a, on a regular basis. A chimpanzee with the emotional stability of a two-year-old uh, and, in fact, the intelligence of a two-year-old is not going to behave. No, no, no more would you, you expect the chimpanzee to behave, or can expect a chimpanzee to behave over a long period of time than a, a child again out in Spain, a two-year-old in Spain, who sat on somebody's lap dressed like a chimp. You wouldn't expect that they're going to behave and, and be nice and sit, out, sit on everybody's lap. They're going to have tantrums. So would the chimps, but when a chimp has a tantrum, he's a dangerous animal. They've got to rip out his teeth so he doesn't severely bite you. They've got to keep him drugged and they've got to give him regular beatings. They must be abused to, to make him submit. But uh, they, they're half starved, aren't they? Which I suppose then they're not as strong as they would normally be if they were in their natural right. habitat. So I suppose they do that for that reason, so that they can't harm the people that they uh, They don't want them to grow. No. I mean, two things. One, they're not about to start a retirement home for, for, for chimps once they're finished with them. And, and secondly, they, they don't want them to grow. As soon as they start getting too big, they're no, no longer any further use to them. No and they, money? No, there's no money for them. So at five or six years uh, of age, uh, when that chimp, when he's acting like a five or six year old, his job is over and then they kill them, they get rid of them. Well, what can we do if we go to Spain and we see um, a photographer with a chimp? What, what, what can we do about That's it? That's right. The most amazing thing about this whole campaign is that Number one, it's the largest rescue operation ever undertaken, particularly with primates. Uh, secondly, it's a winnable campaign. It's something that people can do something about. Uh, if they go to Spain, they should insist to the local police that they confiscate the chimps. The, the laws in Spain have existed for 10 years that make it illegal. The, the laws in Spain are stronger and more strict than the laws that exist in England. Uh, if they enforce them, the chimpanzees would disappear from the beaches. You must go to the local police. You must talk to your Euro MP because this is being taken up in the European Parliament. The, the Spanish government is going to collapse on this issue. Out of ten chimps die gathering I to get fed, eight to ten guys at Eden are dying. And, and uh, then, then she's got to survive the journey to Spain, and then she has to start her hard labor. Yeah. And when she started her hard labor, she was severely wounded because her, her feet had been shot off, her toes rather had been shot off.
least uh, Jim Cronin has got a feeling for the animals. He, he knows that they must have a place to retreat to. He knows it's given them enough space. So I think that actually it's showing that uh, there's a new sort of feeling creeping in now. People are starting to care more about how the animals feel and not just how good it is uh, for us humans. chimpanzee trade tomorrow, quicker than politicians or any of us, if they said that where there are chimps, they will not send their people. It's just for the Spanish to realize people are upset enough, and also to take on board that we'll actually take them away. The problem is that this chimp's dying right now. <laughs> 